Hey guys, in this video I wanted to go over one aspect of doing single cell RNA-seq analysis, which is cluster labeling. When you're doing single cell RNA-seq analysis, and I'm doing this using the Surat package in R, you can run and produce what are called T-SNE plots, which look like this. They're kind of similar to PCA plots. And what this will produce automatically in Surat is clusters that are labeled with just numbers. So in this particular example, I have seven clusters produced and that's numbered starting with the number zero. So that's numbered zero to six. So I want to figure out what do these clusters mean? What type of cell types are each of these clusters? And to do that, we have to use genetic markers to figure out how to label these different clusters. So that's what I'm going to go over in this video. I'll try to put all this code that I have in the description box below. And also I'm using a publicly available data set that I'll also put a link to in the description box. So I'm using this publicly available data set from the Allen Institute and in particular I'm using some thalamic nuclei from the human. So I have nuclei from the human lateral geniculate nucleus. So I'm looking at neuronal cell types and I want to be able to label the different cell types from this thalamic nuclei. Once you have the T-SNE plot that are unlabeled, then what you can do is go through using known genetic markers to test what the different clusters are showing you for the different cell types. I have some examples written down in my notes. So I have 2571, which is the gene ID for GAD1, which is a genetic marker for GABAergic neurons. So I'm going to save that as a feature. And then Surat has four plots that you can use to figure out how to label your clusters. So it has rich plots, violin plots, feature plots, and dot plots. And usually these will all show you kind of similar conclusions. So hopefully these four different plots will give you the same answer about where these different neuronal markers are being expressed. So I'm just going to run those four plots and then go through them. So the first one was a ridge plot and it will basically show you a distribution of the genetic marker. So again I'm looking at 2571 which is for a GABAergic neuron and this should show you the distribution of that particular gene in the seven clusters. So this is zero so a lot of the clusters are showing high zero expression and then you're seeing high level expression for two clusters, cluster five and cluster two. So it's possible that cluster five and cluster two are the cell type of GABAergic neuron. And then if I go to the violin plots, it's showing me a similar conclusion. So again, it's looking at high expression level at cluster two and cluster five for this one genetic marker. Then the feature plot is showing high expression for this area of the T-SNE plot, and this area is cluster 2 and cluster 5. So again, we're seeing high expression in those two clusters and less expression in the other clusters. And finally, the dot plot again shows similar idea. You see high expression and a high percent expressed in cluster two and cluster five. So in the original T-SNE plot, the algorithm was separating cluster two and cluster five as different clusters, but this analysis is showing that you might have a reason to merge these two cluster labels together into one cluster. So the next and final part of my code shows how you can actually change the cluster labeling into the different cell type IDs and add that to the T-SNE plot and your Surat object. So the first thing I have here is a vector that has the original default cluster IDs, which are just numbers. So in my particular case, my T-SNE plot currently produces seven clusters that are numbered zero through six. The next vector that I have in the code is what I want my cell type labels to be for each cluster. And so this is going to be a vector that has the same size as the current cluster IDs. So in my particular case, I have seven cell type IDs labeled here. And the zero is going to be replaced in this case by glutamatergic neuron. The one label is going to be replaced by oligodendrocyte. Two is going to be replaced by GABAergic neuron and so on. And it's in this step that you can also merge different clusters. So like we showed before, cluster two and cluster five were both considered to be GABAergic neuron. So it will merge the two different clusters into one cluster as long as you give them the same ID name. So here I labeled cluster two and cluster five as GABAergic neuron. So since they have the same ID, they're going to be merged in the code after I run this. And then I just add the code names 
and add it to my Surat object using those two lines. And then when I replot my TSNE plot, instead of having the clusters be labeled 0 through 6, we see that now these have the cell type IDs added to the TSNE plot. And that's all I wanted to go over in this video. I think I'll make another video on single cell RNA-seq analysis, although I don't know how much of an audience there is for that. But I do also know how to integrate across multiple Surat objects to do an integrated analysis. So I'm thinking I'll make another video on that. But that's it for now, and thank you guys for watching.